Hi, my name is Jack Benjamin, and I want to welcome all of you to the Russian Users Conference this year. I really wish I was there to share the good times of being together and uh, the fellowship that has come out of these meetings in the past have impacted me personally. I want to begin by acknowledging you for your work. It's some of the best work that I've seen in the world, certainly the largest national cadastral system that's online. Also in the area of commercial applications, this year's International Users Conference, some of your team that's there with you now came over and shared what is going on with respect to commercial real estate development uh, applications. In all of these efforts, you are making a difference within Russia and also the greater global community. GIS is a wonderful space. We enjoy the richness of being part of a global, a global community of GIS professionals who are doing work in different domains and in different geographies and in various ways collaborating to make the world a better place. Today I'm going to talk first about the world that we live in uh, right now, our world is changing dramatically through digital transformation. Uh, we are becoming more connected, uh, more automated. We are beginning to measure virtually everything that moves and changes. This information is being made available through the web, through advanced technologies like the Internet of Things or IoT. Faster computing is meaning that we're able to take on problem solving that we've never, never dreamt of before. Learn about new relationships and patterns in our natural world and also in our demographic world. At the same time as all of this progress, you and I are living in a world that's challenged, increasingly challenged, due to climate change, population stress, in some cases social conflict and the result has been loss of nature and migration of, of uh, populations and we see this in Europe and Asia and in the Americas. Uh, geography is a powerful force and GIS expressing digital or computational geography is a positive force that can address so many of these challenges. It represents a framework and a process for collecting data, for analyzing and visualizing data, for supporting planning and designing of the future, for supporting decision making, alternative decisions, and then taking these decisions to action. This virtuous process or cycle is at the heart of what attracts so many of us to GIS. And working together across different organizations like those of you here, it seems to me that we can be a counterbalancing force uh, to offset some of the negative things that are happening in the world. This is what I personally believe in, and I know that my colleagues there in Russia at ESRI, Russia and beyond you, uh, believe in the same thing. GIS this year is taking a major step forward. The introduction of our latest technology late this year, 10.5 ArcGIS, will make GIS smarter. And this future view of where we're going with GIS is what I'd like to spend most of the time this morning describing. GIS has traditionally been focused on one mission or one application at a time. And with the introduction of Smarter and Web GIS, what we've seen is the ability to fuse together and bring together using the web data from many different types and realize some of the vision that we've often dreamt of of overlaying data from different organizations to create better understanding and better decision making. At 10.5, we're going to be increasing the size of our server, uh, both in capacity and also the number of cores that we can put behind a particular technology. This means expanding, getting better, getting better support, and more enterprise-focused uh, data management. Uh, we often talk about this in terms of better managing a system of record. In contrast to the system of record, 
ArcGIS also supports systems of engagement. This is where people through identities can connect to the system of record and have uh, access to advanced apps and maps based on permissions that are set up in their organizations. These systems of engagement mean that we can take people from across the enterprise and let them have access to GIS through devices or through browsers to the servers that increasingly are serving out information. And it goes beyond simply uh, the organization. It also expands to society itself. The great success of the Russian cadastro system, which involves hundreds of thousands of inquiries to uh, cadastral information every week, is an example of this increasing transparency to governmental assets and information. In addition to systems of record and systems of engagement, the third leg of the stool is systems of insight. And at 10.5, we'll see major advancements uh, through an application called Insights that allows users with very little uh, GIS experience to be able to inquire and create analytic insights through charts and graphs and spatial operations. We also are introducing at 10.5 something called a geoanalytic server. This allows us to bring in big data. I'm talking about really big data, like hundreds of millions or even billions of spatial or spatial temporal observational uh, data sets and analyze them using the spatial domain and various operations. Uh, this is exciting because it'll mean that we can uncover uh, relationships and patterns and and create understandings about the things that we've never been able to achieve in the past. There are a number of reasons why we call ArcGIS 10.5 smarter. Um, they are the integration of real-time information, that is, real-time sensor networks that can show us exactly what's going on right now with respect to sensor networks or field observations. A second dimension of, of the of what makes a GIS smart is this connectedness through devices and systems of engagement. The third is the ability to analyze very, very large data sets. The fourth is the notion that we can bring all this information together and do better designs and decision making. Um, the fifth is increasingly more involvement by everybody in all the different departments or between and among organizations using web services. GIS is advancing in these various frontiers. I know that you're going to be looking at these tools, uh, learning about these new advances, both during this session and later and into next year. I want to challenge you in closing with the notion that uh, we need to, now is the time that we need to make uh, these major steps. The um, technology is mature. Uh, or our organizations are needing this kind of information more than ever before. They're challenged uh, in ways that we've never really seen in the world before. And ESRI will be supporting you uh, in every way that we possibly can to be able to achieve the objectives that, that you have in mind. So once again, thank you very much for being in this meeting. My dear friends there at ESRI Russia, uh, I wish you all the good luck uh, in making this a meaningful and important uh, step in the evolution of GIS in Russia. Thank you very much.